The large reason why these animals seem to be persisting in high densities or a high abundance within the exclusion zone is because of the absence of humans. As you drive around the exclusion zone, you're overcome by uh, all the lush nature. It's really an eerie reminder of the tragic human impact that occurred there back around 30 years ago. The state of the wolf population says a lot about an entire ecosystem. As the top predators here, wolves are an indicator of the radioactivity across all of Chernobyl. A radio collar will enable the team to keep track of its movements. Face masks matter now. The wolf's fur is almost certainly radioactive. Simple exposure to this low level is not the problem. but. If Barbara and Kristoff ingested any radioactive hairs, they would be poisoned. doesn't suggest that these animals are incredibly healthy, although on the surface they appear very healthy. It doesn't imply that there aren't more uh, subtle genetic effects, and that's an important area that I think we need to continue to explore with future research down the road.